So in this particular problem, we have to determine the rotation of uh, gear number two or uh, shaft C given the rotation of uh, shaft B 20 uh, revolutions per minute. So uh, this is a, an exactly train, but gears eight and nine are not part of the uh, the train. So we, had, we first have to determine the rotation of the arm, which is the particular body here, which rotates with uh, gear 10. So in, uh, with this given, uh, 20 multiplied by negative 30 over 20 gives us negative 30 as the rotation of the arm. And uh, the rotation of 6 and uh, 7 is just equal to 20 multiplied by negative 55 over 40. And uh, that gives us uh, negative 27.5. So that is the rotation of 6 and 7 which are part of the epicyclic train. So we can now proceed with the actual solution for the uh, rotation of N sub 2, which is part of the epicyclic train from this arm and, six and se uh, gear 6 and 7. So we have to have the column in our uh, uh, table for the arm, for the uh, 6 and 7, and for 2 and C. This is our table, and we have to have our first step, which is to lock the epicyclic train together and uh, give it some particular rotation. But uh, that particular number of rotation has to be determined by our final uh, answer here, I mean, uh, the requirement as a final uh, rotation of the arm is uh, negative 30. So uh, that is negative 30, and uh, we have to give the arm negative 30, because in the next step in our epicyclic train solution, uh, the arm must be fixed, and uh, uh, we'll have to rotate the other parts of the epicyclic train together to satisfy another requirement here. So as a first step, again, we lock them all, all together. We rotate the arm, negative 30. We rotate the uh, gears 6 and 7, negative 30. And that uh, also, we will have to rotate C and uh, sharp 2 with negative 30. But then, 6 and 7 must have a final rotation of negative 27.5. And that means when we have to lock this, we have to put this, uh, we have to rotate this with plus 2.5, so, so that we'll have 27.5 plus the final uh, rota rotation of 6 and 7. And if we have to rotate that by 2.5, then uh, we have to determine the rotation of this with the arm locked. 2.5 times uh, 80 over 29, 29 times 32 uh, over 32, and then 120 over 50. But what is our sign? In here, we have this as a positive direction. This is negative. This is positive, so this is positive, because they are rotating together. And this is negative. So we have to put here a negative sign. And it is easy to solve for the equivalent of this. And this is negative 15. So negative 30 plus negative 50 will give us negative 45 as our answer for the rotation of N sub 2.